And ho, 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 everybody. How's everyone tonight? Checking in for our super special Secret Santa Slab Grab. Everybody that's tuning in to watch. Uh, this is a little different than our normal breaks. Let me take the uh, little banner here off the screen. Santa there. Um, what we're doing tonight, this is a little... Breaker appreciation threat uh, giveaway for the fans uh, that take part in that have taken part in our um, in the first 22 weeks of breaking the ice. We are really happy to have a really solid core group of people that have been breaking with us for the last several weeks. And so this is a little holiday giveaway. Nothing super fancy or super special. Just a little way for us to say thank you to them for being a part of our our little uh, club. Um, if you are interested, if you're tuning in and you happen to be interested in joining uh, in on our, our hockey club, our hockey card box breaking events, uh, you can visit our page on Facebook. We have a private group page there. Uh, if you just look for breaking the ice, and it's going to be like this little logo up here in the corner. You'll see that on the page. And uh, if you request uh, membership there, We'll take a look at you. We'll let you in, explain to you a little bit about what we've got going on, and tell you about when our next breaks are. So um, just uh, welcome aboard if you're just watching for the first time. Any of our regular breakers out there, jump into the comments section. Just let me know that you're that you're tuning in. Uh, we got about 43 people that are watching right now, 45. I know this was kind of thrown together. The actual break uh, or the actual broadcast was thrown together a little bit late today after all the guys went through and picked out their uh, their packs uh, for the uh, for the giveaway. Um, so basically we're just here to unveil what we're giving away tonight to to our breakers. Um, we had about uh, we had 24 fans that uh, are taking advantage of this from our page and uh, they uh, we ran a thread and said, um, hey flips here Mike Durden's here. good to see you flip. Good to see you, Mike. Thanks for checking in. Basically, what we did was we threw a, a thread up there, and I put up a bunch of prizes. Um, they were kind of disguised prizes. They weren't didn't give all the information. It just said, you know, uh, either a slab, uh, slab card from X team that is graded at this amount. Didn't tell you the player or the year or anything like that, or a special six pack of cards for you. So, um, guys went, guys and gals went through and picked out their. Their prizes, and that's what we're here to give away tonight to show everybody. Hey, John, Merry Christmas, my my friend. Good to see you. Uh, nice that you and Jason were uh, – so John Italia and Jason Barr are old friends of mine from uh, growing up in Western PA, and uh, they have stayed in touch pretty well, and uh, they, they've joined in on Breaking the Ice here. And they actually picked for each other tonight. So Jason Barr's got some packs here that will show you what they are, and he picked a, a card – that he's given to John. So we'll, uh, I'll show you guys those in a little bit. Um, hi, Christina. Good to see you too. Anybody that bought anything last week, everything is out in the mail. We're all current on everything up until this point on uh, breaking the ice. So if you haven't received your packs from last week or your packages, uh, keep your eyes on your mailbox. Should be there in the next day or so. I know the USPS is way behind right now on a lot of things. Um, hey, Patty. Patty's out of the country but has Wi Fi. Thanks for tuning in, Patty. Um, so I know like you USPS is, is a little behind there's as you've probably seen in the news, tons of packages over what they're used to going out. Um, so just be patient. If you haven't got your packs, your packages from last week yet, they'll be there very shortly, hopefully. Um, so that's it. If uh, you're just tuning in for the first time, welcome aboard. We hope you stick around and have some fun with us. I'm going to show you guys first things first, what we're going to do. I'm going to show the packs real quick about what everybody's getting. Then I'm going to reveal some of the prizes that were not picked, and then we'll go into some of the slabs, all the slabs that were picked. So uh, we had 10 six-packs that were available, as well as 20 slab cards. So the six-packs, everybody is getting two packs of AHL cards in their six-pack and two packs of Series 1 upper deck from this year. So each of these, well, not exactly true. I'll show you real quick. And then... Uh, after that, there are some classic packs, 91, 92 uh, Pro Set, and 90 Pro Set 
uh, little card st shop down the road from me, and I stopped in and picked up some filler packs to pass out to everybody. So, But everybody's getting at least two packs of Series 1 and two packs of AHL cards, and then the uh, Pro Set stuff here. So that's the same for these first five packs, I believe. Yep. All the way down here. So everybody, so Jason Barr, Bill, Leland, Brittany, Carl, Brad H. All getting two AHL packs, two Upper Deck Series 1s from this year, and some old school pro set. Now, the last couple packs here, we mixed up things a bit. You got the two AHLs. You got the two Series 1. And this one, actually these two, each have 91, 92 OPG, and the gum is still intact. So you know it's uh, old school that way. Um, so these are uh, 75th anniversary uh, NHL packs there. So with the pro sets on the top. Uh, and then the last two uh, for Jason S. and Mike Ulat, uh, they've got the two AHL packs, the two Series 1s, and then there were some insert, or actually one Series 1, and then there were some insert packs in those Series 1 boxes. So a, a triple card there from a Series 1 and a OPG glossy pack there for that one. So that's what the packs are. We'll be getting those out to everybody. So those are the six packs. We're not going to open them up or anything. We're just going to we're going to leave that up to you guys, and then you guys can share with us your big hits. But I thought, why not take a look at one pack of old school 1990 NHL cards, pro sets, the hottest card on ice, 15 photos, stat cards, and one discount card. I don't think the discounts will work anymore. Let's rip into this and just have a little fun here with uh, – some 30-year-old packs here. So let's see what we pull out of the first pack. Craig Simpson, the Edmonton Oilers, a former Pittsburgh Penguin. Essa Tikkanen. What do we got here? Mike McPhee. Ah, dropped him. Craig Janney. Paul Gillis for the Quebec Nordiques. Oh, look at that old school Jersey Devils there. <laughs> the photography wasn't the best back then. A little too much headspace. Paul McLean, the blues. The colors are pretty nice, though. I like the contrasting colors. The whaler, you can't go wrong, wrong with the whalers. Scott Young. Some old school Toronto Maple Leafs. Ron Tugnut. Quick story about Ron Tugnut. He was the goaltender in goal for the Pittsburgh Penguins when they played the longest game in team history, the five-overtime game. I actually worked in Pittsburgh at that time. Um... He lost 20 pounds that night in water weight, playing all five overtimes. It's a loss to the Philadelphia Flyers uh, in the playoffs, uh, but he weighed in before the game. He weighed in after the game. He lost 20 pounds that, that evening, so uh, pretty amazing. He was only with Pittsburgh for a year, but had a really solid stretch there with the Pens. Paul Coffey, look at that, an NHL Hall of Famer. From his Penguins days, Kevin Hatcher, another former Pittsburgh Penguin. All-star card there in Pittsburgh with the Capitals. Brian Leach, all-star card. 10-cent discount toward your next purchase. <laughs> oh, yes. We're going to see if we get that. Oh, look at that. The last card in there. Wayne Gretzky. Not a bad bad little pack there. Kind of fun. Nothing crazy there. and It's not going to be worth a lot of money, but it's going to be fun for you guys to open up some 30-year-old packs and see what you got there. So... Um, so that's the, what's going on here. That's the packs that are coming out to you guys. Uh, so just a little thank you. You guys drafted those packs. We'll be getting them out to you shortly. Now, before we go and show you guys the slabs that you picked, I'm going to show you some of the slabs that you didn't pick. So but I bought a bunch of graded cards online um, not too long ago, a month or two. I guess two or three months ago now um, with the idea that we would use them for something like this coming up. So uh, that most of these cards, except for the top one I'm going to show you, were actually purchased uh, not too too long ago. The top card is Jerry Pinder, Cleveland Crusaders, uh, a PSA 2. That's actually out of my own collection. And I was going to throw that in there in case anybody wanted it just to even things out. But um, 
card 341 from the, I believe this is the 70, 71, 72, something. Oh, 72 OPG. There you go. Um, uh, it was an NHL and WHA set. So that one's actually out of my own, my own collection there. Not picked. A couple others that were not picked. Daryl Sittler, second team all-star for the Maple Leafs. Little Rick Martin there for Buffalo Sabres, 79 tops. Now that's 79. If you guys have been, oh, Jason's going to, yeah, Jason. Well, you'll see it in a second. I don't know if you're going to be that impressed with it, but it's 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 kind of neat. Um, if you guys have been paying attention to, to the Wayne Gretzky card that just sold for over a million dollars out of this same 79 set. Actually, I believe that Gretzky was from the 79 OPG, not the tops, but same design. Um, and hopefully that card, you know, uh, a rising, rising water raises all ships. So that, uh, some Gretzky stuff going through the roof right now. Gilbert Perot, 85 tops. That was a, a PSA four, not picked. Here's the, uh, Isles, Jason. Oh, Brian Trache. Now it's only a PSA one, uh, 82 OPG PSA one. If you look at it closely, there's some creasing. If you, you probably can't see it on the camera but if you look really closely there's some creasing on the card and that's why it's only a one but um you know trots you gotta give him respect there six times stanley cup champion four with the aisles two with the pens great guy in the community for the penguins as well uh trots actually played uh roller hockey as well for a team called the pittsburgh phantoms that uh i never worked for the phantoms but i worked for a team called the pittsburgh stingers which was an indoor soccer team that was around at the same time as the Phantoms. And my current boss, Jeff Barrett, actually ran both of those teams. So he, he was uh, the general manager of that team when Trotz was playing for it. So there's Trotz. Errol Thompson, uh, PSA 7 from the uh, 78 Detroit Red Wings. And a 83 OPG Pelly Lindbergh. Uh, Pelly Lindbergh, um, kind of a tragic figure. Um. Goaltender for the Flyers uh, died in a car accident. One of the it was really kind of uh, earmarked to be a really big player for the Flyers' uh, future, and uh, unfortunately died in a, a car wreck early in his career. I believe his second year or third year, and uh, never got to. Uh, Flyers fans never got to to see that happen. So those are the cards that were not picked. So what we'll probably end up doing with most of these is uh, using them as some prizes going along in our upcoming break. So if you are watching and you're interested in grabbing a, a card or a spot where we probably take another week or two off here around the holidays before we get back into breaks, but we will be rolling out some new boxes uh, right around the first of the year that we'll be breaking into, and we'll use some of these slab cards as prizes. So that's what wasn't picked. Let's take a look now at what was picked by our breakers. So I got them all turned upside down here. I'm gonna here. I'm gonna get some of these slab or these uh, six packs out of the way as well, it's just so we got a little bit more room to work with here. Maybe we'll display these out a little bit. Give me a second, folks. Getting ready for the snow as well. Looking like 12 to 24 inches here in Northeast PA, coming over the next 36 hours or so. So that should be fun. Probably going to the office for a little bit tomorrow. I doubt I will be in there on Thursday, though, because I don't think anybody's going to be moving anywhere on Thursday. Okay, cool. So we're going to go. Hey, Randy. Good to see you, man. Welcome. Good. Thanks for checking in. Excited to show you what you picked as well. Um, so we're going to go right in the order that they were that the slabs were picked. Uh, so Patty had the first pick. We're working all our way down, and uh, we're going to show off. Uh, the cards, the slabs that were picked, some big names in here, some not so big names, uh, but everybody's getting a, you know, a, a slab card. Uh, just a little way for us to say thanks to everybody that's been participating in Breaking the Ice over the last 20 weeks or so. So, without further ado, Patty, who is out of town right now, out of the country, but does have Wi-Fi, here is your card you picked. 1975 Tops Red Wings Leaders. That is a Mint 9. Danny Grant and Marcel Dion. So you got your goals, 50 goals there for Danny Grant, 40, 74 assists for Marcel Dion. Wow. 121 points. You don't see those numbers very much anymore. 
and uh, 19 power play goals there for Mr. Grant. Marcel Dion uh, went on to play a long career, spent a good couple of years there with the uh, Los Angeles Kings as well, so Hall of Famer there. So 1975 tops, Red Wings leaders, right off the bat, that one is for Patty. There you go, Patty. Cool, indeed. Put that one right down there. My pleasure, Randy. I'm happy that I'm, I'm just glad that, you know, this is something that I started off as kind of a fun thing and uh, it's kind of grown a little bit. It's not a huge venture at all by any means. It's something we just do to have some fun on a Tuesday night throughout the season or throughout the non-season. And um, just a little thank you to give back to you guys around the holidays here. So Jeremy is up next. Jeremy ended up with... Jerry O'Flaherty, Vancouver Canucks, 1974 OPG, near mint eight there. So Jerry O'Flaherty, not a big name, not a huge name, but kind of a fun card there, an old school uh, a card that's you know more than 40 years old. Vancouver Canucks, there you go. Jeremy, congratulations, bud. Amy Gumon, Amy. Or actually, Aiden, this is... I believe this is the other. This might be the other Amy. Who knows? I can't remember. I can't remember all the names. Actually, I believe this is. So, Amy, you picked the third slab, and you picked Pierre Turgeon, 1988 Tops, Buffalo Sabres. That is a near mint mint. PSA 8. Coming your way, Amy. Congratulations, and thank you for being a part of the group. Randy, here you go now. Randy is getting, are you getting excited yet, pal? Randy went old school. He went vintage. Let me see. Oh, okay, yes. He went flyers. It's not a bad card. Flyers leaders. Near Mint 8. You got Bill Barber, Bobby Clark, and Reggie Leach. Big time names there for Flyers. Obviously a Hall of Famer or two in there. The LCB line. They called that one. Leach, Clark, and Barber. Top scoring line. So that is 1976-77. BVG, Beckett Vintage Grading, number eight. Or near mint eight. There you go, Randy. That Turgeon is the rookie, I believe. Let's see here. That is his rookie card. Indeed it is, Jason. So that is a rookie Pierre Turgeon for Amy. <laughs> Doesn't even know what those letters mean yet. So near mint mint is a, you got it. So, so if Amy, if you haven't had seen a graded card yet, or you haven't, obviously you may not have a graded card yet. Um, uh, cards are graded from uh, on a scale of one to eight uh, from uh, by PSA, which is uh, one of the companies, and the other company is Beckett. Uh, same thing; they do a one to eight, one to or, or on a one to ten. Uh, Beckett also does a one to ten. Um, they do half grades as well, and on some of their cards, they will show you why. So PSA doesn't break it down quite as much as Beckett, but Beckett, some of their newer cards, they're grading. It'll give you a four different grades. It'll give you about the corners. The edges, the color, like the the actual look of the card, um, and the centering. So that's how those are the kind of the four major things that they grade the cards on. So uh, an eight is pretty high up there. So that's not too bad. Um, and yep, Jason. So yep, that is, that Turgeon is his rookie, and uh, Randy is pumped about his Flyers card. So there you go, Randy. Thanks, bud. Uh, hope you guys like those ones. So we're off to a good little start there. The Pierre, yeah, that Turgeon. Turgeon's a very good player uh, from his day back there, and that's his rookie. So that's a good set too. That eighty-eight tops. I always like that set. I've got a. I don't have that full thing. I've got a probably about half of it put together. That might be one I have to revisit at some point. Kim is next up. So Kim is one of our newer breakers. Kim just jumped in for for a free night one time, and actually, Kim, I believe I still have your packs from that night on my desk. So if you're tuning in, I will send that along with this. <laughs> yeah, don't rip open the slab. <laughs> So, Kim, this is your card, and Kim picked Minnesota. Now, there's a little trick there because it wasn't the Minnesota Wild. It's the Minnesota North Stars, Tom McCarthy, and that is a Mint 9, 84 OPG, 
Tom McCarthy. Uh, and the OC up here, you can see, so Amy, it says OC, that means it's off center. Uh, so you can see from the tops and the bottoms, it's a little off center, top to bottom, it looks like. And that's why I got that one point deduction, probably. So that one is going out to Kim. So congratulations, Kim. There is your slab grab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight more here. So just a little fun here. So Tim, Tim's one of our regular breakers. Tim selected the New York Rangers. So we had one Rangers card. Tim's Rangers card is Mike McEwen. With that old, so with the uh, kind of the weird Rangers uniform. This was the only year, 78 uh, tops here. Uh, I think 77, 78 that they wore that uniform with the, it didn't say Rangers just diagonally across it. It had that little shield on there. So Mike McEwen, this is his second year card. Um, not a big name at all, but kind of a, an old school card there. And uh, a nice one to have add to your collection there, Tim. So congratulations, buddy. Let's see who's up. Oh, okay. So here's John Italia traded from Jason Barr. So Jason Barr had the pick, picked the card, and then gave it to John Italia, and he had John pick for him. So John picked the packs for Jason. So, John, this is the card that's coming out to you. Jason picked the Quebec Nordiques card. And I don't think you're going to be too upset with this one. Joe Sackick rookie card. 89 tops, Joe Sackick. It's only a six, but it's still a cool card to have in your collection. Joe Sackett, the current uh, general manager of the Colorado Avalanche, who uh, the Quebec Nordiques moved and became. And uh, that is his rookie card. One of the all-time greats here, at least from our time growing up. Uh, Joe Sackett, rookie card. So congratulations, John. Jason did a nice job of picking for you there. Actually, let's move Mr. Sackett. Down to the next row there. So we start our next row now. Chris K. Chris King is up next. Chris has kind of a potpourri card here. He picked this card. This is a goaltender's shutout leaders from 1977-78. Again, not the greatest condition, just a 4.5, but you got Ken Dryden on there. Rogi Vachon, Bernie Perrant, and Dunk Wilson from the Penguins in there as well. Shutout leaders. Ken Dryden they, uh, didn't have a long career, but very successful. The uh, first uh, goaltender to not play in a regular season game and then win the Stanley Cup as the starting goaltender. Uh, I believe he was, and then became Rookie of the Year the following year. So uh, long career. little trivia about Mr. Dryden as well. He was one of... The uh, announcers on the Miracle on Ice game next to uh, Mr. Michaels. So there you go. And there's Sean checking in again. Yeah, well, yep, you definitely a good one. So Mr. Barr picked well for you, John. Jason liked that sack as well. So yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. Some nice. We got it's a good mixture, I think. There's some higher graded stuff that maybe it's not the best player. There's some. Made great stuff that it's pretty good players, and there's some off the wall kind of stuff as well. So, um, just just some fun. Corey is up next. Corey, he went with the Washington Capitals as well. So, or I, I mean, I believe he's the first Washington Capital. There's a couple Capitals cards that were in there. Uh, he picked the Washington Capitals. This is an 8.5 PSA. Rod Langway. From that same 88 top set as the Pierre Turgeon. Not his rookie card or anything special like that. In fact, you can see he was around for quite a while at that point. But a solid contributor back there in the 70s and 80s, Rod Langway, captain of the Washington Capitals from 1988. So there you go. There you go. That one is for Corey. Congratulations, Corey. Jason W. Not to be confused with Jason B. Uh, so Jason Ward, he picked the L.A. Kings. And he didn't pick a bad one either. Not a rookie card, a third-year card. 
Mr. Luke Robitaille. Los Angeles Kings Luke Robitaille. That is an eight from the 89 OPG. Same uh, year as the Sackick, uh, but the uh, Sackick is the tops version. Uh, the Luke Robitaille is an OPG. Luke Robitaille, another uh, big name from the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Played briefly with the Penguins as well. Played one season in Pittsburgh. And there he is with the Kings. There you go. I'm glad you're liking it, Patty. Glad you're having some fun with it. We've got three more we're going to roll out. We're not going to have a long long show tonight or anything like that. Just kind of a little brief show here to a half hour or so to thank you guys. So, um, But having some fun. So, Cool hand Luke, indeed, <laughs> Mr. Scott. Nice robot, exactly. Yep. You can't go bad with some of these names. Brandy is up next. Brandy, now this one, a little curveball for you, Brandy. You selected, it was listed as Detroit, and it is Detroit. He did play for Detroit. However, the card, he's not in Detroit just yet. Sergei Fedorov, 90 Opeachy Central Red Army team. This is right before he went and joined uh, the Red Wings. So, Sergei Fedorov, Central Red Army. Something different, something a little bit out of the norm. But again, another Hall of Famer. The Central Red Army stats, Soviets versus the NHL. There was a, a, a series that went on that year. He uh, Two goals, two assists in five games. For Mr. Fedorov. So there you go. There's your 90 OPC Sergei Fedorov. Down to the last two cards. And both of these, so Cody had the second to the last pick. And um and Flip, George had the last pick. Uh and Cody, I know, is a big goaltending fan. And I was hoping he was gonna pick this card. Yeah. Very cool card that Federer. I love I love weird wacky stuff like that off the wall stuff too, Randy. Like when he, uh, I, I remember there was like a, a whole subset in one of the op or one of the upper deck sets too that had a bunch of Red Army stuff that I really loved. So I like that kind of stuff. But Cody, uh, I was hoping that somebody that appreciated goaltenders was going to pick this card, and I know Cody does. New Jersey Devils, Martin Brodeur. First round draft choice, 1990. That is an eight. 1990 score. So score was a, a trading card company. It was around for a couple years there in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, during the, the flood years when cards were flooding the market and everything. But that's still, uh, even though that's the case with this, with score, they weren't the highest quality things. That's still a kind of a fun card for a... Um, for a an all-time great there from the NHL. Before he even played a game, Martin Brodeur. So there you go. So that one is for you, Cody. I know you're a big goaltender fan, so I'm glad you, you found your way to that one. I think it was meant to be. <laughs> uh, I think you're going to have good stuff either way. I think you're going to get good stuff either way, Jason. Remember, it's just all for fun. And plus, the ones that we're not giving away tonight, we're going to use them later. So you might end up with something anyway. So, And who knows? Maybe in another two months after we've done a couple more breaks, we'll get back and do another one of these. Or maybe I'll just buy a bunch of slabs like this, and we'll do something where everybody puts in five bucks and you get a slab. Could be could be a fun way to get something like this. So, oh, Cody's a, well, he's a Flyers fan, so he probably doesn't like the jersey stuff. Um. But yeah, that Pelly Lindbergh is a is a good card. So, so that brings us down to the last card that was picked tonight. So this is George. George uh, picked the Washington Capitals, and again, not a bad card. Nothing crazy, crazy good, but not too bad. Scott Stevens. Scott Stevens, eighty-seven tops. Solid defenseman for the Caps there in the late eighties, early nineties. So not not too bad. So um, there's all the, that's the slabs. It's a good looking group, I think. Um, so that's just a little 
little Christmas present to you guys. I wanted to say thanks for uh, being part of the group and for being involved with us for so long here, sticking with us. So um, reminder, if you're watching tonight and you're seeing this and, and wondering how you get involved, um, drop us a uh, just drop us a, a mention in the uh, the comments on the Facebook post or uh, oh, oh there you go, Scotty. Are you a fan, George? Are you fa a fan flip of Mister uh, Stevens? Because um, if you are, then that's great. Um, but if you're watching this tonight and you're wondering how you get involved with this, we we have a private Facebook page that we and we give everybody a heads up on about what's coming. Um, and then we, uh, we sell spots online that you can be a part of our break where you buy a, a random team and we'll break into a couple boxes per night, um, and have some fun with it. And we also give away a free Penguins Jersey with all those break, the box breaks that we do. We're not doing that tonight, obviously, cause it's just kind of a little thank you, um, to all you guys out there, but some cool stuff here. I think there's some really cool cards in here. Um, the Sackick, the uh, Robitaille, the Brodeur, especially uh, the Flyers one here. Some of the other ones are are kind of off the wall and, and funky and fun. Um, but I, I, I really hope you guys like them. I hope you enjoyed uh, this and you hope you enjoy being a part of the group. Uh, so this is just my little way of saying thanks to you guys for being a part of it and making it so much fun on my end. It is a little bit of work, but I don't mind it because you guys have such a good time with it. Um, so there you go. Congratulations, guys. Have a great holiday. Uh, these will be coming out to you soon. Um, we'll probably take another week or two off from breaks just so you guys can recoup some money for the holidays, get your pre presents all paid for, and then we'll get back into it. I'll be letting you guys know about it on the private page and on our social media channels as well. Um, and keep your eyes on your mail. Hopefully, these will get to you before the holiday, uh, if not sometime very soon after you know, with the, uh, the the rush of packages that are coming, might be a little delayed. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll do our best to get them out to you guys as quickly as possible. So that's it. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Mike. And to everybody out there that's watching, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Um, Happy New Year if I don't talk to you guys. Uh, but we'll be in touch on our, our Facebook page. So everybody check in there. I got, you know, we'll maybe I'll break some little things here and share them with you guys on there. If anybody's going out and buying any of their own packs, um, you know, share them with us on that page as well. Thanks, Jason. You too, man. Merry Christmas. I uh, hope you guys are all healthy and safe and get to spend some time with friends and family during this weird time here and uh, hunker down from the snow. If you're in Northeast PA, um, Randy, you got it, man. Thank you. As well, oh, the, the, the snow is coming. We're going to enjoy it. I mean, what other choice do you have? It's coming. You're not going to stop it. So let's have some fun with it. So until we see you guys again, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that stuff. And we will talk to you very soon. Thanks a lot, guys. We will see you in the near future.